Taylor Mitchell and team roping. Okay, Taylor. Shawnee stepped up the last couple of years and put a lot of money in the team roping for you kids. It's a, it's a place you can go kind of make a name for yourself and make some money too. What leads that on from the high school level, take you to the pros or the amateurs? Is it because of the big money? Uh, no, sir, because I enjoy doing it and I can, I guess would be the main reason. That is the main reason you got to do it. If you don't love it and you don't like what you do, you might as well find something else, hadn't you? Yes, sir. What about after Shawnee? What about college and whatever? Are you going to go on and rodeo through college and try to get education through it? Yes, sir. Try and go on a scholarship somewhere and uh, college rodeo and try and make a name. Okay. We got a name now. We got a Bloomer team in. It's going to make a name for himself. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Clayton Shaw and I rope calves. Okay, Clayton, tell us about. Shawnee. It's a fast setup. Uh, all the guys that really rope good always seem to stand out there. You think it's the money? You think it's the prestige? Or you think it's just everybody getting together doing their best? Uh, I think it's just a lot of good competitors and everybody ropes better when there's more competition there. I, I think it's a good thing to start for you guys before you go to college and go to the amateur levels and the pros or whatever because there's a lot of money at stake. You know, it's not like you're just roping for fun. Yes, sir. I uh, think there's when there is so much competition, like I said, whenever there's more competition. A lot of guys rope better than when you do there when there isn't better competition there. You know, you've had in past champions like Hunter Heron. He's in making national finals, and you know you've got the guys that rope good. That's what's going to step you guys up. Be the Bloomer guy and step it up for us. All right, thank you. My name is Kelly Moeller and I ride Saddle Bronc. All right, Kelly, you know down here we're not known for the rough stock as good as we're up north. But Shawnee brings in some guys that have some horses at Buck. Is it better for you guys to kind of be able to show your ability somewhere like Shawnee? Oh, yes, sir, I think it is. Um, I think getting on better Bronx stuff like that can show your ability and, uh, you know, what you can do. So I think, yeah, I do think so. For high school level, it kind of steps you up, doesn't it? It brings some horses that maybe you're not used to seeing, but if you ride good, that's what you want. Yes, sir, I do. I want, you know, I want to go in the better Bronx, show better my, you know, my ability. So, yes, sir. Well, good. Maybe if you have a good Shawnee, get you a scholarship somewhere, get you good education, keep riding Bronx for a long time. Yes, sir. That's what I plan on. All right. Part of the Bloomer team. Thanks. Hi, I'm Katie Anthony. Um, I, were, I run barrels, poles, I tie goats, I rope breakaway, and I team rope. Okay, an all-around cowgirl at Shawnee. It's a lot of money you get to run at in each event, but it's a busy week. You got to pay attention, don't you? Yes, sir. I got to be on top of my game if I want to do some good. And it's not like it's just for a little uh, prize anymore. It's for big money at Shawnee, isn't it? Yes, sir. It really is. It's a big deal. And you're working five events, yes, so that's why you got to be part of the Bloomer team. You got to be tough. You got to be good in all of them. We wish you the best of luck and do good. Thank you, sir. Shiloh Seal, team roping. Okay, we know a lot about it, Shiloh, about team roping down here. We know about roping for the money. But when you get to go to places like, like Shawnee, it's all of a sudden a bunch of kids trying to win a bunch of money. Adds a little pressure, doesn't it? Yes, sir, it sure does. What about you? You got a good partner and you ready to go up there? Oh, yes, sir. What do you think about the guys that come from a long ways off and come to Shawnee? The money makes it worth it where they can go back and make some money, doesn't it? Yes, sir, it's a lot of competition. It gets good. It'll let guys like Shallow see what they really got, so go tear them up. I'm Jeffrey Pridgen. I'm in the team roping. It's an event. Okay, you take Shawnee. Is it a regular old high school rodeo, just another day at the park, or is it something special because of the money and the, and the level of comp competition it has? It's a whole new level. It's money, competitions. I've never been, so I think it'll be a good rodeo. You're, it's something you're probably looking forward to, isn't it, instead of just a regular old rodeo? Yes, sir, it is. All right, Bloomer's looking forward to it, too. We hope you have good results. Make us proud. Uh, my name's Josh Byerly, and I ride bareback horses. 
Okay, you know Shawnee is going to be a little different because they're going to bring in some better horses. But that's good for you guys, isn't it? It gives you a chance to show what you got. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the harder they buck, it's kind of, it puts out a little bit more of a challenge and it makes it funner. Well, and you know, Texas is not known maybe all the time for the bareback riders, but we got a few of them, and they've come up through the ranks like this. So, does this give you a chance to show what you got? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to try real hard to do good and probably get noticed by a few people and see what I can do. That's what we want. We want him noticed. Good luck, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'm Blake Van Cleve. I steer wrestle. Okay, Blake, you go up there, that's, that's steer wrestling country, isn't it? You know Oklahoma's known for it, but it's guys from everywhere. With the steers being good, Roy Duvall brings in a good set. Does that let you show your talents better? Yes, sir. What about the money? Does it make you a little nervous or a little ready? Uh, it makes me ready for it. The bigger the win, the bigger you get ready, huh? Yes, sir. What about you guys that maybe don't have the chance to run for the big money because there's not that many steer wrestlers in the youth deal? Shawnee sets that aside and gives you a chance to prove what you can do, doesn't it? Yes, sir. All right, we got a good we got a good guy, we got good luck. Bloomer's gonna be happy. Bulldogging's our game. Hi, I'm Kirsten Stubbs. I'm gonna be doing barrels, breakaway, and goat tying. Okay, Shawnee's a little different. We've talked to the, some of the other competitors about it. It's money. So money's going to be important. Money's important for college. Money's important to keep rodeoing. Is Shawnee, does that add a little pressure to you, a little more than a regular high school rodeo? Um, there's a lot of money up, and it's real quick. Just got to go for it every time. Okay. If you're going for it every time, you're part of the Bloomer team. We're proud to have you. All right. Thanks. A Sloan, uh, I'm calf roping, team roping, and bulldogging. Okay, for all of you that don't really know, A Sloan just got a full ride scholarship uh, academically to Texas A&M, but with that and with his roping ability, he's kind of got some choices to make now, don't you, Ace? Yes, sir. Uh, just choosing a college was actually a big choice. Even with the scholarship, I had some offers to rodeo, uh, but I felt like A&M, I was still going to get to rodeo, and with I felt like it was definitely the best school. Well, and a guy like this, you put him in a position, he, his rodeo will take him a long ways. He's got tons of ability, tons of talent, but you know a dumb person can't win anything, can they? No, sir. It's, it's very much a mental game. All right. There's Ace Sloan. We hope he does good. Hope he made the right choice, and we'll see him again, I'm sure. Thank you. I'm Jake Gregory, uh, Ride Bulls, 17 years old, from Smithville, Texas. All right. We know that, Jake, when you go somewhere like Shawnee, they bring in the bulls that can buck. It's a little more challenging, maybe, but it's a little better for you guys to show your ability and your talent. What you got to do at Shawnee to make it different? Uh, just give 110, and if he bucks good and you ride good and you could win it, uh, you hope the best for your competitors, and you just... You know, go out there to the 110 and hope your animal bucks get uh, the best visibility. and. Right to the best of your ability. What about going someplace like Shawnee? You know, it's a lot more money, and it's a lot more it's a lot more people watching. It's a lot more coverage. You know, if a guy can do good there, you might get noticed and help your college chances a lot, huh? Yes, sir. It's uh, Shawnee, and just like all these high school and all these other organizations help you out. And uh, Shawnee is one of the biggest. It's the biggest, I think. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of contestants, pays pretty well, and uh, I think it's the biggest thing you can go to up till now with age and. So, yeah, it definitely helps. It's the big step. Jake's going to step up. He's going to ride good for the Bloomer team. We'll be watching. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ross Cooper, Saddle Bronc and Bareback Riding. Okay, Ross, you know Shawnee is looking more for the – uh, the guy, the guy, they're going to bring stuff that can buck. They're going to look for the guys that can really ride. You know, up till now, you may have a kind of a picnic every now and then, but what about Shawnee? Will it make you bring your A game? Uh, yes, sir, definitely. I'm going to bring my A game, make sure I have my hammer cocked, and just try to try to get by what they throw at me. What about two events? You know, two events, people's a lot different than working one. I mean, I know it, it, may, it takes two concentrations. you got to focus two different ways. What do you get? Do, what do you do to get ready for two events? Um, just, you know, make sure I'm working hard in both events, and 
uh, make sure I'm really bringing my A game, like you say, and um, just try to do my best in both events. Okay, he's going to bring his A game both ways. Bloomer's going to be behind him. We're going to be happy. Good luck. I'm Lacey Donegan and I do breakaway barrels, poles, and goats. Okay, breakaway barrels, poles, and goats. So you're going to be a busy person at Shawnee, aren't you? Very busy. <laughs> what does Shawnee do for like the, the high school rodeo and the money part of it? I mean, Shawnee kind of stepped out on its own and, and made a new venture with all the money, but it helps you guys out, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's uh, great. They pay a lot and it's great for all high school kids to get together and it's kind of a little bit different from the high school rodeo. It's kind of big fun, but it's also kind of big money, and that's yeah. that's a little different high school, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> but the money makes it good. The competitors make it tough. You'll have a good week, and Bloomer's glad to be a part of it. Yeah, and I'm glad to be a part of Bloomer. <laughs> My name is Ethan Crouch. I'm a bareback rider. Okay. We got bareback riders going from Texas and we want to show them what we can do, right? Bloomer team's got us some bareback riders that we think can do it. What about the bigger, stronger horses up there? Is it going to be fun or are you going to dread it? Oh, it's going to be real fun. The, best, the better they buck, hopefully the better I'll ride. And if you ride good up there, what grade are you in? Sophomore, you got two more years. See, you got two or three years to really get the colleges watching, and we all know it's for a reason. We want to, we want scholarships, we want a college education. A guy that can win and also a smart guy, he's got a chance to make it, doesn't he? Yes, sir. Real good chance. All right, good luck, man. All right, thank you. I'm Stormy Wing. I ride bulls and saddle bronc horses. Okay, Stormy, here's a chance. Shawnee's got a lot of money, a lot of good stocks coming, a lot of colleges going to be watching. Two events gives you two chances. What makes it special to be somewhere like Shawnee? Um, there's a lot of people there to watch. Like you said, there's a lot of money, uh, a lot of good people and good horses and broncs to get on. And uh, I'm just going to go there and try my best. You know, for, for a coach, put myself in a, in a college rodeo position, coach, I'm going to watch. If I see a guy that can work two events, it just ups his ante. You know, if a guy works three or four, it even be something great. But if you can ride Bronx and Bulls in Texas, you've got a ticket to punch. What made you pick those events? Uh, my dad started me up riding Bulls, and then we lived on a ranch and stuff, and I rope. I'm going to go in the team rope, and they didn't know I, was going, I could rope, so they didn't ask me to be on that. But I'm going to go in the team rope and with a girl from New Mexico. She called me later on, but... Um, just being around Cowboy and stuff made it easier for me, and I just like to do it. Well, that's a key word. He just said it. He likes to do it. If you like to do it and you got, a, you got it in your heart, you're going to be good. Good luck, man. I'm um, Wrangler Dunda. I'm in the bull riding. Okay, we've talked to some of the other guys about the bulls and the horses and stuff, right? Well, they're supposed to bring the A game. They're supposed to bring stuff that can buck. But, hey, that's what you want anyway, isn't it? Yes, sir. What's Shawnee about different than the other high school rodeos? Uh, just more competition and better bulls. More money, more bulls, more people. What's the difference between getting on one, say one good one a week down here, you're going to get on two or three out there? you have to change anything? No, sir. Just getting on better bulls, you know, you get more pumped up and keep riding better. Okay, Bloomer thinks you're going to ride good. We want you riding better, all right? Yes, sir. My name is Joe Beers, uh, Team Rope. Okay, Joe Beers is a, Beers is his name we watch Team Rope with, right? You got a dad and a brother that have won everything, but you're making your own name. What does what does Shawnee do for you? It gives you a chance to what? Yeah, it gives me something. It's a little bigger event. Um, a lot of people are going to it. Pays good, and I'll be able to be seen up there. And do good. Well, see, that's that's what it's all about. If you know that you're going to be seen and the coaches are going to be watching you from all over, plus there's a lot of money at stake, it kind of ups the ante for a guy like you, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Um, the coach will be watching. Good, good for school. Really good for school. I mean, get me maybe get me a ride somewhere. 
you know, it's good for that. And we do want to ride for a minute. We want them to be educated. We don't want them to be dumb cowboys. Dumb cowboys don't make it. And then, and then we'd have to have a talk with his dad. Yes, good sir. Luck. Thank you.